2012 Summer Olympics in London was a game that smashed many records. Usain Bolt ran the fastest time for 100 meters at the Olympics, clocking in a swift 9.63 seconds. Social media also took center stage at the London Games, with 102 billion shares on Facebook and 5 billion tweets sent out throughout the 17 days of competition. It is estimated that by the time Usain Bolt completes his 100 meters run, over 2 million items would have been shared on the internet. Social media is becoming more prevalent than ever before. In 2012, there are 840 million Facebook users and 145 million Twitter users on the internet. Chances are the next person who walks past you on the street is probably using his mobile phone on a social media application. For the purpose of this documentary, our team sets out on Twitter and on the streets to ask this question. Have you ever used social media in a sport event? And what did you use it for? I use Twitter a lot and whenever I'm wrapped up in game, I like to tweet the results and, and see uh, what else that other people are talking about. If they're talking about the game too, if a big play happens, it's all over Twitter. There are positive and negative implications of social media on sports and especially on athletes. For starters, social media is a great avenue for product placements for advertisers. When used correctly, it could translate to better PR for advertisers and sponsorship deals for athletes. It seems today that all you see is violence in movies. It's also a great way for athletes to connect to their fans, which could be a confidence booster in times of competition. The United States swimming organization led to rally some social media supporters before the London Games by uploading a video of themselves lip syncing to Call Me Maybe. Hey, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I was on Instagram. More often than not, social media can incur undesired consequences onto athletes, so much so that it could tarnish the reputation and career of an athlete forever in a phenomenon we call social terrorism. Rugby player Josh Dugan was recently fired from a contract with the Broncos after making a racism slur on social media. He was previously sacked from the Canberra Raiders after skipping training and posting a picture of themselves drinking beer on Instagram. Clearly social media magnifies the lives of athletes tremendously. We speak to another Australian athlete who shares with us of a love-hate relationship with social media. I'm Emily Sebom, I'm 20 years old and I've been on the Australian swim team for seven years now. I've been to two Olympics, Beijing in 2008 and London 2012 and I'm hopefully going to make two more. I'm a lover of social media, I'm on Twitter, Instagram and Facebook so find me. I've got a couple of questions for you today, the first of which is, um, what are the negative impacts of social media? The public can then post bad comments about you, um, which then you can see and other people can see, so I guess that affects you mentally. I understand that you are an avid social media user, so why do you reckon that social media is so appealing to athletes such as yourself? I guess it's so appealing to us because um, it lets us talk to our, our fans and, and also involve our sponsors, which is what they like to see, is to see you tweeting and to see you taking photos with that product so other people can see them. So it's all about how many follow followers you have and the more followers you have, the more the sponsors like it because the more that product is getting shown by, you know, 10,000, 20,000 people. So Emily, what are the lessons that you've learned from social media? I guess the lessons that I've learned is just to keep everything positive and not let the negative comments come through and affect you in any way. You've just got to keep you know, focusing on what you're there to do and most of the time we're tweeting when we're in big competitions and things like that so it's not letting the negative comments affect you and just letting all the positive comments come through and also like interacting with fans. Social media started to play a big part in that. Sponsors want to see um, a swimmer that's um, liked and followed by as many people as possible. So Emily is determined not to let social media distract her from the ultimate prize in the next Olympics held in Rio in 2016. 
she's still actively engaging social media, but has become more professional with her usage. Amelie also learns to put away the desire of using the phone when she steps on the pool deck.